greasy fool yet. Hey, why don't you put the axe over that hole there and then shove the jack under? Thanks, that's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good yoke, all right. I fixed the tire to go, and I got this much gas only. <laughs> I'd like to help you out, but I haven't got any gas here. You going far? I was going to California, Pen Gold, maybe. But I don't think I get there now. That's tough, all right. Where'd you start from? I was a farmer in Minnesota, but they take my farm away. Yeah, it's been pretty hard on you guys. Say, I'll bet you know all about farming. I always think so, till last couple years. How would you like to come in here and work this place with me? I just got here yesterday myself, and I don't know much about this farming racket. Say, fella, you joking? Well, it's no joking. Come on, I'll open the gate. See how she goes? Water makes ground just like chocolate cake. Say, that's wonderful. I'd sure like some sardines tonight for a change. I haven't had any since last night. Oh, hello there. Hello. Hilda, my wife, say maybe you like come eat hot rabbits too? Oh, we'll be right over. Thanks very much. You are welcome. Say, how's that, huh? Man, the next time you want rabbits too, you just fix a wire like this and a loop like this and here comes the rabbit, clonk, 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 bing, and he's catched. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't get him, I stop him so. Well, can you imagine that? Wonderful. And those carrots was on the other end of these weeds you cut down yesterday. Oh, John. You mean I cut... Oh. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know about that? Carrots grow on weeds. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just thinking how much that sweet is done in one day. There must be a lot of fellows in the same boat, just driving someplace until they run out of gas. Look, if one man can do as much as he has in one day, well, why wouldn't ten men do ten times as much? You know, a, a plumber, a carpenter, a stonemason, a sort of cooperative community. Where money isn't so important. You help me, I help you. Great idea, huh? If it suits you, it's okay by me. What's your trade? Barber? Can't choose you. How about you? I'm a cigar salesman. 
What can you do? High-class pants pressing. This is a farm, not a hotel. Plumber. Well, that's something. Carpenter. No kidding. I'm a police violinist. Listen, I'll be back to you guys. Keep your places. It won't do you any good to rush me. Don't you know a trade? Uh, can you fix a machine, uh, till the soil? Uh, can you use your hands? I can use nothing but my hands, but only to make music. Yeah, well, you see, we're building up a... Uh, Please give me a chance. I have strong wrists, strong fingers. I'll learn. Oh, let me stay in work. I'll do anything. Don't go away, partner. Thank you. I'm a stonemason. Okay! Yeah, thank mister, you. Mister, mister, I'll till the soil. I'll sow seed. I'll sow anything. What can you do? What's to be done? Well, did you read the sign? We're looking for men skilled in basic trades like uh, farmers, carpenters, mechanics. Have you got a tractor? Well, you can call it that. I'll drive the tractor. Do you know anything about farming? I said I'd drive the tractor. Mister, listen. Listen, you got to listen. I'm going to have a baby any day now. What's that? <laughs> Not me. My wife in the car. Well, why didn't you tell me so? <laughs> hey, Mary, he's going to have a baby. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm an undertaker. When Captain John Smith and his gang arrived on this continent, what did they do? Stand around and beef about the unemployment situation or value of the dollar? No. They set to work to make their own employment, build their own houses and grow their own food. On the Mayflower, there was a, a planter, a printer, a doctor, a soldier, a bookkeeper, and so on. And that's what we've got here. If they got along without landlords and grocery bills, so can we. What we've got to do is help ourselves by helping others. We've got the land, and we've got the strength. Yeah, and we haven't got any Indians coming around to scalp us, either. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't have to stay. You can go whenever you want to. But if you do stay, make up your minds to work and put this thing over. That's right. Folks. I've got two bushels of taters in the back of my flivver. I suggest that we throw everything we have in together into one common pot. Money, food, everything. You can have my three ends and a rooster. I got a $20 gold piece. I got two sacks of flour. I'll throw in my goat. And here's my 560. Post for a eighty. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous. All right, you, uh, a man with the potatoes, uh, what's your name? Hannibal, George Washington Hannibal. All right, Hannibal. You're commissary sergeant. Accepted with pleasure, sir. <laughs> now, who had that $20 gold piece? Here it is. You've got charge of the dough, the uh, finances, if any. OK. Mr. Chairman and friends, what form of government are we going to have? Well, uh, uh, whatever most of the crowd wants. Then I suggest, my friends, that we bind ourselves together in sacred covenant and establish an immortal democracy. Well, it was that kind of talk that got us here in the first place. <laughs> no. We must have a socialistic form of government. The government must control everything, including the profits. Wait a minute. Let me talk. I don't even know what those words mean them fellas been talking. All I know is we got the big job here, eh? and we need a big boss. And Jan Sims is fella for boss. 